most incredible. Two, two. DJ Sour Mill. One, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Yeah, it's Power 106 to LA Leakers. Just incredible. DJ Sour Milk. G Airbo is in the building, what's man. What's up? What's up? What's up, broski? Welcome to the city, bro. Chilling, man. It's good Chilling, to have man. you on that liftoff, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great yeah, to have sure. you. <laughs> What's on your it, mind, bro? No, man, my mind be all over the place, man. I've been <laughs> up since 7 this morning. You I know. know. I know it's been a long been day. Been up since 7 this morning. You know, I'm just thinking about more money, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see the movement out here, bro. First of all, I want to say congratulations on everything. Yeah, thank you, bro. I see Appreciate the grind you. really paying off. It's yeah. a good good testament to show to see you climbing that ladder thank you thank it's like you, yo this shit don't happen overnight right no nah, no no of course not hell no how would you compare 2017 to your 2018 bro um crazy yeah. like it's crazy what a year like my growth from 2017 to 18 is crazy like yeah. i'm on a whole nother level i feel like then, from then and now you know and i would compare just like my my grind level like me grinding like I, in 2017 i was grinding don't get me wrong but 18 is like even more and i didn't even think i could work harder than i could even back then because i was I'm, I'm a hard worker bro like right. i spent 12 16 hours in the studio you know but i feel like right now i'm capitalizing on every opportunity gotcha. I'm, I'm getting every hour like the whole 24 hours out the day i need every hour every you know? hour like, i ain't gonna lie i'm <laughs> using every hour you know i'm really up and from the studio in the house getting in at 5 in the morning, I'm up doing yeah. interviews at 7. I got in the house at like 4 or 5 in the morning. I'm right up, 7 in the morning. You know, and I ain't really go to sleep. But for all you young artists out there who are aspiring to be like, G, that's what it's going to take. Yeah, that's and, that, what and I'm take. still doing this, and somebody might look at me like, oh, he made it. You know, I ain't, I'm i still working. I'm grinding, you know. Oh, like, so way. if you're a lazy rapper, you ain't going to want to even get to this point. Like, when you get to this point, it's even more tough. Right, right. You got you got you got the family on your shoulders yeah, too, man. I follow you on the gram, man. Yeah, Congratulations man. on everything. You, bro. No doubt. Appreciate it. No doubt. Let's talk now. Swervo, the album is out. Yes, you sir. and Southside going crazy. Yes, sir. How does this whole project come about with you and him? Because the chemistry is nice, fam. Yeah, yeah, nice. man. Thanks for noticing. I've been having to tell everybody like they <laughs> ask me like, yeah, how you able to create? Or I'm like, we it's really the chemistry. Yeah, like yeah. we got a, a relationship. It's a brother relationship already. It's a brotherhood. So. Music, that's like a bonus, you know, it's a give and take it, but yeah. it came really, Swervo, the whole brand entity is crazy, because like my homie just started calling me Swervo, him, right here, start, okay. right right there, he Shout started calling fam. me, Fam's in Swervo, here. just on some, man, random, bro, like, I forgot what I did, I think I had made some money, like, some bread, like 30000 or some shit, like, quick, on some random shit, like, oh, you make a swerve, I'm call you Swervo, but I used to always crash my cars, too, you know, like, okay, and that's where the Swervo came with, too, like, Swerve and cars, you know, so I used to always crash my cars, he just naturally started calling me Swervo, but the thing with Swervo being this album and just a brand now is... Me, Herb, G Herbo, I'm like, I'm a low-key, humble dude, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like, I'm the type, like, I, I'm successful. I didn't, I've been having, like, money for quite some time now, right. but, like, like the level I'm on now, I just push myself to get on this level. Yes. But all the while, you know, like, me coming from the streets, having anything or just doing what I'm doing on any level where I could take care of myself and my family, I just feel like I'm winning or I won, but... I'm not where I want to be. I strive to be like Jay Z one day, you know. Like I want to sit on a hundred million dollar, billion dollar empire if I can, or if you know, if God see see that in my future. But I see it in my future, you know. No so doubt. I, I'm a humble dude. I don't really boast on me having money and spending money and talking about it because I'm like. This ain't really no real money, we and got I more still to get. I got more money to get, and I still got people around me who striving to do something they self and struggling. So I'm I'm the type like. If I, I can't, I don't even feel rich. I don't feel like I'm having no money because everybody around me ain't having the same, having their way. Or, yeah. I, you know, I got to really, if I want to go out and live a whole nother lifestyle in another place, I can't leave all my people. So if I have all my people, I'm going to have to take care of them. But they going to have to take care of themselves. Sure. So I'm trying to really make it that way, you know. So I don't really brag on my possessions or nothing like right. that. But Swervo. I do like mm -hmm. I ain't, I'm not bragging, but I'm motivating and I'm talking about everything that I had to work hard for, and I'm able to do this. You know, I should be able to talk about me buying jewelry and cars and yeah. big nice houses. You know You're what I'm saying? Hard. Because I'm working hard for it. But 
just coming from the streets and being humble, I'm not that type of guy. I don't do that. I so like that. I like to be able to have the difference, the, the two. Like, all right, I'm Herb. I'm a humble dude, but I'm Swervo, too. I work hard for this. You could do it, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We having fun. It's it's ain't nothing like going to really, like, when you working hard, ain't nothing like spending your money. It's one of the best feelings when you're really able to go out and spend money. Like, for, sure. for real, hundreds of thousands of dollars and thousands, period, whatever, especially coming from what I come from. So that's Swervo. You know, yeah. I want to create that, too, to be able to motivate. Because some people don't really get motivation off of, all right, he made it and he doing it. They need to see it physically. 100%. Be able to look at it and be like, damn, he doing this. You know, like how Meek motivate people on the gram. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the right. same way. You know, that's what Swervo is. It is. Know? Okay. Okay. Man, you got a good head on your shoulders, bro. Your yeah, energy is really man. good, man. And uh, it's dope to have you on the Liftoff show. Love you mentioned, bro. You mentioned, you know, your plan to inspire and motivate, but who who inspired and motivated you? Um, you know, I got a lot of my like as far as music. Well, I let's would, start personal. Let's yeah, start personal. Like, like I got a lot of my motivation really like in the streets, but family wise, my brother, my older brother, I got okay. a brother five years older than me. You know, he motivated me really. Like he showed me my first ten thousand dollars. You know, like <laughs> stuff like that when I was young. I wasn't even trying to rap. You know, okay. I just thought. That was much, so much money, but I'm not even grasping on. I could, if I apply myself, I could get ten thousand dollars right now, just like him, you know. But I'm just wild and doing whatever. But I always wanted to be like him. He was always a clean cut nigga, fresh yeah, yeah. to himself, you know what I'm saying? Having cars, all the girls. He was independent on his own. Sixteen, seventeen, he moved out the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, he always been independent, fly nigga. Never really, you know what I'm saying, fell into the streets heavy. You know, he always just hit, made a lane for himself. He was a leader. Mm. So I looked up to him for that. So I always wanted to be like that in the sort, you know, like, everybody in the family always happy to see him, happy to be around him. You know, he was one of them type yeah. of people, you feel yeah. me? Like, You know, so, I got so many questions I want to ask you, man. I, I want to <laughs> start, you know, what, what was it like growing up in Chicago? Because uh -huh. from over here... We we only know yeah. so much, especially that's that's one thing I want to give you props on is through your music, you you one of those artists that gives us a peek right yeah. in to yeah. the streets. Yeah, you know what what was it like growing up in the city, man? Um, I just had an hour long conversation, to, uh, like this you know, is probably people this. ask yeah. me this a lot. Yeah, but I just and I just touched into it like kind of deeper today, but like just growing up, it was it's. And it was hard, but I made it easy. Just my mindset and the way I thought and just got through situations, I made it easy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was hard growing up because, first of all, everybody grow up wanting to be a basketball player. That's right. our first dream, wanting to play sports, you know. And when that dream is crushed, it's like, it's crushed, you know. <laughs> Feel so, you, bro. growing up, we want to be that. And then we got to adapt to Coming home from school, we fist fights turn into all oh, shit. We didn't beat the wrong nigga up. Now he go get his brother gun. Now he's shooting. You feel me? He's shooting at us. Right. We got to go through this, but it's normal. That's like, all right, whatever. This is what's going on. We got to dodge these bullets until we tired of dodge bullets. Then it's time to shoot back. Man. You know? Yeah. So, like, that's a lot of what's going on in Chicago. And really growing up, we under that kind of pressure, peer pressure. You 16, you got somebody 30 years old trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hating on it. And, and, but we got to really, like, we can't really dwell on it, you know? Like, right. we got to be able to maneuver and just think, like, all right, I, I, how am I going to get home? Whatever the case, I don't know if I get to this block. It's probably going to be a shootout nine times out of ten. So I just got to prepare myself for when I get to this block. Because I got to cross this block, you know? So that's more so our thought process, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's our mindset. Like, all right, this is what it is. We just trying to get through it. We thugging through it. And that's right. everybody, you know? Some... Make it on the way out. I mean, some make it on the other side, some don't, you know. Right. Like, that's just the life in Chicago. We under that pressure Man. at age 13, 14, 15, 16 oh, yeah. years old. You know, like, we grown men early. I, I, I appreciate your honesty on that question because I think that is a big part of the story. You know, it's like uh, it's hard enough just to make it. Like, it's hard enough to just be a dope rapper yeah. and, and live your dream. So to hear that part, I think we got a lot of – you know, younger listeners out there that that sends yeah, a, a strong it's message. It's tough too. being a rapper. It's tough just being anybody that's on. Like in right. Chicago, you can't even be a nigga that's hustling. Like 
And we got the same 24 hours in a day If you a nigga that got more than me Off hustling, doing anything I'm hating on you That's that's how it is in Chicago Like, for real Like, it don't matter it. If you my homie, whatever I'm mad Like, it ain't even no uh, I gotta get to a mindset I just want what you got I ain't and Niggas don't even got a mindset Like, I gotta get to it Cause they ain't getting to it They got the same 24 hours Niggas just like I want what you got Why you gotta have this And I'm, and I'm fucked up You know yeah. But we got the same 24 hours You could I could apply myself The same way you apply yourself You got this all hustling From nothing This shit all illegal We ain't paying taxes on it You go do the same thing I'm doing But you don't wanna do that You lazy You wanna take the easy route out You wanna rob me Get all Whatever you gonna get 10, 20 However many thousand Then you go blow it Now you broke You looking for the next robbery I just worked hard for this 20000 It took me a year to get this. Right. So you got this shit in five minutes, and then now it's gone in less than a month. But it took me a year to get it. Right. So you only ain't got what I got. You know, like, that's what's going on in Chicago. Yeah. You feel me? Some people got a hustler's mentality, and some people got a hater's mentality. So it don't even got to be about being a rapper or being famous. Right. Just doing something positive with your life, you know? Because if you in Chicago and you hustling, you selling drugs, that's something positive with your life. You try and make a way because... Ooh, it's all built. It's it's all set up against us. How but you gonna work a nine to five, still be under the system, and mm-hmm. whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Not not having your way, you gonna settle for less. You know, like that's why people selling drugs, and right. that's 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 the finer things. That's having the finer things in life. So if you doing that, and now and I ain't doing this, I'm hating on you. That's the mindset in Chicago. You know, I hear it's, you. It's fucked up. Man. I hear you, man. Now. Coming from Chicago, a lot of amazing MCs, and I know you take this MC thing very seriously. <laughs> yes, sir. very seriously. I've been watching your journey, bro. Is there is you got like a, a top three Chicago yeah, yeah. MC list? Yeah, right? I'm not gonna include myself either because like <laughs> we gonna get there though. Yeah, we um, I, I could put you in that category. Yeah, my top three out of Chicago on the MC side, uh, baby. Of course, here yeah, I'm putting him at the top, baby. Um, and I got people sick as hell, like my favorite rappers, but I'm going to just be like my top three. Like, these are the top three MCs. Yeah. Baby, um, Bump J, and number two, for sure. And um, who do I want to put at number three? Like, on some, for real, Baby, Bump J. Um, honestly, I just, like... And I wouldn't, like, uh, just being hard is one of the hardest MCs, like, rapper-wise, coming out of Chicago or just out of Chicago, um, I would say. One of my favorite. Um, Common, for sure, but I'm not even going to speak on Common. Like, Common is definitely one of But at the three right now in our era, I would say Vic Mensa. Oh, Vic okay. Mensa is, like, Gotta have Vic the in top. There. Like, as far as MCs, spin. Yeah. It's Baby Bump J and Vic Mensa, you know, if I'm not going to include myself. That's what's up. Bump Bump don't get all the credit he deserves, so I'm glad yeah. to hear you say Bump that name. definitely, growing up, Bump was. Always. Bump was Jay-Z to Chicago, for sure, 100%. Facts. To us growing up. Facts. So, and, and this this is no shade, but that's not that's not Kanye West? Like, you know, from the outside uh, looking in? No, nah, no, nah, not okay. for the streets, at least. Not right. Not for the streets. It There's a difference there. You know, and Ye is... Ye is so far removed, I feel like, from hip hop to me. And I don't throw no shade to Ye. I'm so I was so much of like a, a I really was a, a, a Kanye fan. Of course. You know, Kanye I was and not even like I I can't name you all the lyrics from his album or none of that, but just appreciating him and what he did for hip hop and right. just knowing he is a real M C a legendary M C at that no and doubt. then like right now, I feel like I, I ain't really connected with what Kanye is doing as far as like music and MC wise, you know. But the old Kanye definitely would have been in my top three for gotcha. sure. He probably would have been number one yeah. if he was still on what he was on when he was introduced right. to hip hop. Right. He would have been number one right. to me. Got it. Yeah, no doubt, man. Great, great, great answers, man. Now we got G Airbo in the studio. Swervo out now. Full project with Southside. The Swervo Rec is the one that I'm playing all over the radio and in the clubs. I like the 100 Sticks joint, too. Yeah, though, yeah, that's one of my favorites, too, man. That's you just know, got a bounce thug, to it. Thug in my top five, you know, it's as far as, like, artists? rappers, period. Yeah, artists. Thug. And What's I, it like and, working with him? Man, it's crazy, bro. Thug, like, he... That nigga talented, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Extremely. Like, extremely. Like, he... He, he in, get in the studio, and you would think... Like the, the the melodies he used, then he'll repeat the same line like ten times. But he just perfecting that melody, you know. Like he'll do some shit, have his boss, then he repeat the line that he about to do next. 
however many times until he feel like he got it right. So he'd be like, why is he repeating this all this time as he recording? <laughs> and then it'll take him like 10 minutes to do the shit, like 10, 15 minutes tops to do a whole song, you know? Wow. Like, I seen him do it, you know, five, 10 minutes to do the verse. That ain't shit, you know? Like, there's no time at all. Like, thug, thug animal, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never seen Future record, but I heard he the same he way. Similar. You know, Thug and Juice World. I never seen nobody record like them ever in my life, you know what I'm saying? So uh, Thug, Juice World, Yeah, future. Vert too. Vert uh, and Vert. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I can't forget about Uzi for sure. Uzi, v- Uzi Thug, and Juice World. Like, they they make you, they challenge you to be a better artist, like, in the studio. Cause you don't so when be they taken. come in, you, you yeah. feel the, yeah, you not, gotta, not, not competition, you gotta but keep up with their energy. Right. Yeah, you gotta keep up with their energy, you right. know? So I'm, I'm on it. When they in the studio and they doing whatever, I'm trying to go right in after them. I ain't trying to waste no time. You know, fall off the vibe or none of that. Right. You know, like I'm right on it instantly. Like they just they dope, turn me up. Dope you know? that you worked with Juice World too on the project. Yeah, yeah. He's from the shy, right? Yeah, yeah. He's from the Chicago. You and you, you and him got a yeah. nice wave, man. Yeah, There's a lot yeah, of great man. talent. Me and him got some nice shit too. Like some some nice ass songs in the tuck, man. We trying to see what we gonna do with them. Yeah, I was gonna say like I could hear you two on like a collaborative project. You yeah, know what I mean? Just to yeah. put that in the universe. Yeah, we 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 you know we we in the same camp. You know that's my yeah. little brother. You feel me? Like you might as well say he shit no limit. You might as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's my little brother. And what about working with Chief Keith? That's got to be sick. Yeah, you know? man. Just working with Sosa is crazy. You know, just Sosa is he he like I ain't gonna lie. If you ain't calling Sosa like the the goat or like you know the guy one of the guys of this shit you really hating you feel me so just doing that me and Sosa working like on some Chicago shit gotcha. is you know is it, it big you feel me yeah. then it means so much cause my homie Cap that's like so, Sosa is Jay Z to him you feel right. me he wasn't even on no big on hip hop shit you feel me like right. ain't nobody better than Sosa and Cap as you feel me and that was my brother you know so um just you know like it's a lot of sentimental reasons why that was big you know to do that song with with Sosa and then just as far as the industry music wise all our fans wanted to hear us together you know since forever this still the the most like the most probably number one string song on the album right now still shit going super brazen you know so (laughs) I'm trying to lock him in so we could shoot the video you know yeah I got I got to shout you out too on the Who Run It freestyle. Man, appreciate it. When bro. that hit my feed, bro, I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Thanks, you on man. a you on a whole nother level, just bro. Randomly too, man. Yeah, that wasn't something like planned out. You just nah, nah I wasn't planned. Popped out, up though. at the radio station yeah, and some random shit, bro. I didn't even want to go. My toe was stubbed. I couldn't put on my shoe. All kind of shit. Like I was hurt. I ain't gonna. Lie. I was injured. I ain't want to do it at all. But I, they, you know, I'm like, man. I'm going to go because, you know, I, I never been in that market, you know, yeah. to fuck with Bebe. So I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go fuck with Bebe. I knocked the joint out. And, I mean, he played it because he like, I got a surprise for you. I'm not paying no attention to this shit. My mind all over the place, you know. I'm not, I'm thinking about, I got to go see if my toe broke after this. Oh, you feel shit, me? Yeah. Like, for real, for real. So he like, I got a surprise for you. I'm thinking he about to show up with a game or some just, you know, some shit to turn up the interview. You yeah. feel me? He played a beat. I'm like, fuck it. You know, I just went into it. Shit went crazy. Like I put it on my Instagram and it got like a million views quick and I don't I don't I never really Bro. get the many views. Yeah, that on thing my spread. Page. That was the first thing that ever got a million views on my Instagram now, you know. I mean, period. So right. that shit turned me all the way up. I ain't gonna lie. It Everybody me all reposting. The way. Yeah, it turned That's me just all people the way recognizing up. your energy and your talent, bro. Shit turned me all the way up. That's yeah. right. Swervo out now everywhere. Bunch of joints on it. Y'all gotta definitely check it out. Yes, sir. Sh- shout out to Southside. What what else is in the works for you for the rest of the year? Oh man, so much. Uh, you know, we Swervo is really like a brand entity now. So yeah. as far as the deluxe, that's on the way for sure. We might do a Swervo part two, two and a half, have a one and a half, you know. Okay. Um I'm still 150 Dream Team, that's my company. I got artists, um artists from VA Savage. I, I signed um my artist 40 from the hood a couple of none of my homies from the hood that rap you know and we putting the 150 dream team compilation together and it's really gonna be big i got a lot of belief in it like i'm i ain't gonna lie i i'm a firm believer it really started like really me just trying to get my homies out the hood like all right bet i'm gonna sign y'all to my company just rap you feel me we finna try to live this shit this is gonna put some money in y'all pocket capitalize off of it save it whatever this y'all you know what i'm saying have a foundation 
we gonna be on the road doing like that was my whole plan from I was never really trying to make no money or blow up crazy with this 150 drain team shit but it just happened like it's organically way. it's on the way and the music is really sounding good you know what I'm saying and, and uh I played it like for some labels, you know what I'm saying? For some label execs, couple, I mean, label execs, A and I's, and they really want to push it now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really trying to make sure it is what it is. So I had to get Swervo out, add it, you know, get everything off of my plate, right. so I can't focus on that, you know. So I do got that coming. Um, me and my 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 DJ, he like one of my in house producers too, right. you know what I'm saying? So. Me and him got so much music. We probably dropped like an EP together this year. You know, I got okay. a lot of, I got like 200 songs for sure right now. Just In I the tuck to, like that? In the tuck for sure. But I, I, hard I, and I'm still at. recording every night, every single yeah. day. What's I'm that recording record. process like? Like, do you just go in and. Yeah, it, I'm just, I don't, write, I don't write no more. Okay. Unless I'm like on a plane trying to do some hip hop shit, you know, really on some hip hop shit or mm -hmm. just gathering flows to just have in my head, you know, just off the, you know what I'm saying? Right. But other than that, I don't write. I'm just in the studio vibing out, going in. You know, it probably take me like 30, 40 minutes to do a song now, tops maybe. You know, if I'm locked in, 40 minutes tops. So I'm right. knocking them out. Give me a 12, 16-hour session and I'm going to get busy, Cooking. you know, so. Yeah. That's what's up. G, thank you for coming through, man. Sure, man. It's a Appreciate pleasure having it, you up here. Thank you for spreading that great energy, man. Yes, sir. New album out right now. Swervo. So must have. G. Erbo is here with the LA Leakers on Power 106, oh, number bro. one for hip hop. Thank you, bro.